New details in the horrific stabbing of a Rubio's employee. Deputy shot and killed his attacker, who we now know was homeless. 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins is live in Solana Beach with what may have been heroic moves. Hannah? That's right. Now, his attacker ran off in this direction. I have been walking around talking to people in nearby businesses like Harcourt's at Bonnie. They're shaken up not just by what they saw at that Rubio's, but because of who was hurt. I see him so often, it's just, it makes me sick. Katie Lafferty was working two doors down during the gruesome attack. It's like only out of a movie. They kept wondering why it had to be Robin Rodriguez. He's like the nicest man. He's the manager at Rubio's, and he's known for his big and genuine smile. He's always got his eye out for what people need. Deputies say Emmanuel Ibarra was behind the bloodbath that could have killed him. Witnesses tell me Ibarra, who is homeless, went in wanting a free burrito when left empty handed. They say he came back and stabbed Rodriguez in the head over and over. Rodriguez's wife tells me he made heroic moves to keep his team from getting hurt. That really just seems like his personality to make sure everybody else is okay. Deputies tracked Ibarra to the train tracks under an overpass. They say Ibarra popped out and lunged at a deputy with his knife. That deputy fell to the ground. Then they say he bull rushed the second deputy who shot and killed him. Detectives noticed the tip of the knife had broken off. Doctors found it in Rodriguez's head. And the more details I hear about it, the more upset it makes me. While they wonder why him, they can't help but think more would have been hurt if it was someone else. No one deserves to have what happened to him happen to them, especially him. His wife tells me the Rubio staff has come together to really support them as a family. Somehow he will live to tell the story. We're live in Solana Beach, Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Quite a man. Thank you, Hannah.